Hello, IME 100 Labs. Mr. Streeter here back in the materials lab with Mr. Richardson doing the videoing for me. Um, we're going to do a different type of test. We're going to do uh, an impact test. And what, what would we do an impact test for? What kind of results would be, we be looking for? Yes, Mr. Richardson. Toughness. Toughness. All right, so we, we want to we want to actually put this sample in the machine and it's going to show us the toughness of our material and it will give us a, a foot pound measurement. So there is a V notch in here which is not going to probably show up in the video. It's a small um, specific size V notch. The, the samples for the impact or for the tensile test, these are all to a specific dimension to, to uh, meet a standard. So I have a pair of tongs here that I'm going to grab my sample with and a couple different reasons for the tongs. Sometimes we, we heat these or we chill them before we put them in the tester and then that way you can grab them and set them down there without danger, adding any, any danger to yourself. And that will also line it up in our fixture down in the machine. Notice I have my safety glasses on. Um, we've already calibrated the machine. We want this indicator dial to be down here past our maximum foot-pound range. And then all I'm going to do is engage the weight. We have a 60-pound weight going at a, a two-foot drop. Gives us 120 foot-pounds. And oh, snap. <laughs> that broke pretty good, didn't it? We're going to read our dial here. We are at from zero here. The, the indicator here shows 20, and we're at 21 pounds. But when we zeroed it, it actually zero wound up the, at the one pound. So we're at a, a 20 foot pounds of energy that this sample took absorbed. And we look at our sample here, and it shows us that we have a, a ductal failure. And that's it for the impact test. Hope you're having a great day, enjoying the lab videos. Stay safe.